Hey everyone. Okay, this is another update of the type of hardware that I'm using with Ubuntu, with the latest one here. If you've been following me with the other uh, videos before you get something like this, uh, some type of hardware like this, um, I want to update you with um, my findings. Okay, so before you get a 4090 or a, a C790 Hero, for example, in my case, or the 13900K, you do need to know about a couple of things here. So one, there being a lot of updates, a lot of them in regards to each of those type of uh, devices. Okay, so I've been going through all the errors, uh, notifying NVIDIA, notifying ASUS, notifying uh, Intel, the Linux kernel, like everybody, okay, about things that I've been finding out. Some of them don't actually do anything, to, don't actually affect you, okay? Some of them get, get fixed the moment that you actually log into the, to the GUI there. Or, or start using the, the Ubuntu desktop in general. So let me first tackle the NVIDIA ones. On the NVIDIA ones, uh, apart from a dragging issue where you were dragging windows and stuff like that and would lag, that's fixed on the 525.6. Um, the only remaining issues are are in are just generic. Okay, they're they're all over the, the place. And I actually post them here, but I'm actually telling on the forum for NVIDIA that it, basically everything in regards to the video card was solved with a 525.6 there. Including a question that I had about, for example, my video card has three fans. It's a it's a SOTAG, okay? It has three uh, fans. And the NVIDIA settings only manages two. For everybody that has three fans or four fans, this, what they're saying here, um, in regards to two of the fans or more fans are joined together for one of the options here, it's true. So what I did was I put one at 30% and the other one at 100%. You can't, at least in my case, I can't put it lower than 30%, um, the, the fan speed, I mean. And I was able to actually visually see the car. Two of the fans were going super fast. One was going... A little bit slower i actually mentioned that here and so basically what I, what they're saying here is, is true so um depending on the on the model that you're using it will behave like that so two of the fans or three of the fans would be handled by one the fan configurations here and the other one would be handled by this one it could be all mixed too like if you have four fans it could be two here two here or maybe the first three here, or the the first one, the third one here, and so on and so forth. But basically, they all handle all the fans together. It would be nice to be able to see all the fans here, but anyway. So that's for the, the people that are curious about if I only see two here, but my video card has three fans, how how does that work? Okay. Um, in regards to the, the only errors that are still pending that don't really affect your, your gameplay and everything. Um, I, I made this image. Let me just make it super big here. Um, these were basically all the errors that I was able to see. I went back to 519 because it's obviously it's more more stable and they do have some updates in regards to the video card and and the sound system and the CPU. So um, I highlighted everything that goes away depending on the kernel that you update yourself to and the things that are still pending for newer kernels. So like these errors here, they still show up, but they don't affect me in any way. There's no nothing broken. It's what I could say. Um, it might be the way that um, the system actually starts checking um, things in the motherboard and just you know it throws you an error or something, but it doesn't affect you in anything. Uh, this Bluetooth uh, malform issue here, it fits. It actually fixes itself after logging in. It actually, sometimes it happens, sometimes it's not. So it's like a race condition there when you're booting, but it gets fixed automatically because I've done other videos where you can actually see the Bluetooth working properly. All this here actually gets fixed on the 6.0 version. Any up, any 6.0 version, anything superior to that one fixes all these issues in this specific motherboard, okay? This one, the one that says I2C, Failed to register, I to see client, something, something, something. That one's still showing there. I have no idea what it does. I've looked for it, got no clue there. These errors here, they get fixed again 
on the 6.0 version and up. And the sound high definition one here for Intel for this specific motherboard that gets fixed on the 6.2 or will get fixed on the 6.2. So we're talking about Ubuntu 23.04 should have basically everything fixed um, for all the issues that I've encountered that don't are not critical, but I want everybody to know about uh, before you actually purchase this type of hardware for for Linux. With that said, uh, let's go to um, um, NVIDIA drivers here. You can see the latest one here. And these are the fans that I was talking about. Okay, nice, nice temperature there. Sometimes, by the way, the fans will be basically off, even though they show like this. They're, they're, right now, they're turned off. So they, this needs to go up even more for the thing to actually kick in. So don't be scared if you see the fans off. It's just saving power and all that. Um, let's go to Foronix here, and there were a lot of updates since last time, so um, I'm going to go through a couple here. So you got Intel with a FMP um, update here for, well, you can see a lot of updates, especially for me, where I'm here, um, and the AV1 updates that I've been uh, waiting for. Well, not just me, everybody. Um, so that's, that's awesome. That's a good there. Um, for the AV1 here too, even the Rust version, I saw it somewhere here, here it is. Um, another good updates in regards to performance for AMD and Intel and, and well, everybody in general. Um, for this one, I think this one fixes one of the issues that I've been having uh, with the sound. Uh, not an issue, but one of the codecs there. So that's it. That It's not critical, but hey, it, it's good that they're uh, making it more compatible, the, the, the motherboard. Do know that there's um, an update here about what I was mentioning in one of my previous videos about um, the 13900 k I already mentioned this one here. Um, you know, full compatibility with DirectX 9, 10, 11, and everything after that. Um, but there was, an, there was an update about here it is for the hybrid. CPUs, meaning the 1300K, it's like the second iteration of the of these patches. There's a lot of patches here, um, and that's that's also good to know. Obviously, again, we're getting it on the next version of of uh, Ubuntu, but right now the the computer is running fine. So this one is going to basically make it much better, much better. The performance is going to be much better. It's it's still really good right now. So um, lastly. OBS Studio 29 will be coming soon. It does say that OBS Studio already supports AV1 encoding with NVIDIA with this graphic card, but I don't see I don't see the option. There's only like two options there uh, that talk about AV1, and if I do enable them, basically OBS breaks. So I do need to uh, select uh, something else. Uh, so right now I'm recording with X264 uh, using the, the NVIDIA hardware. So that, that's the only one that actually works it. Um, so let's hope that this actually gets fixed, I'm guessing. So yeah, just want to update everybody in regards to the, to the changes that are coming. Thank you.